everything you need to know to go to Wild Rivers in Irvine. This is one of the newest water parks in the USA. It opened in 2022, but a whole bunch of new rides they built for 2023, so let's go check it out. So first, let's talk about the rides. What can toddlers go on? Well, there are 13 water slides that toddlers cannot go on because they have a height limit of at least 40 inches. So what does that leave us? That leaves us with three things that have no height limit. There's the lazy river, there's this kitty play area, and then there's the wave pool. We'll dive into each of those in succession. And then this is kind of water playground known as Cook's Cove. The few small slides at the bottom have no height limit and they get splashed. Anybody can do that, but to go on the bigger slides, kids have to be at least 40 inches. One of the best things to hear at Wild Rivers is definitely the Lazy River. And the inner tubes, they are free. There's a whole bunch of them, they're plentiful. It doesn't move too fast, it's pretty lazy. You go under bridges, and yes, if you've got a little one, they can come on top of your lap too. Ah, this is living the good life. And you'll notice the life jacket our daughter's wearing. Those are provided at the entrances to the Lazy River and the Wave. So then there's this area called Contiki Cove, and this is basically the kiddie water park within the water park. The slides here are super small. Our daughter, three and a half years old when she visited, definitely enjoyed these the best. The first time she went down the slide, she needed to go with dad. After a couple times, she could go herself. They also had some general kind of like splash pad type toys here. I thought it was pretty neat. They had swings in this area that the kids could kick their legs in. And there were also some legitimate water slides here too. Now over in the bigger one, uh, we put her on kind of the slides here. These are bigger. I think these were a little too scary for her. And then finally, the wave pool. You know, this is one where like, we live close to the ocean here in Southern California, so why would you want to jump around artificial waves? But, you know, I think kids just love jumping around waves, and so our daughter loved just kind of lunging into these waves as well, although staying in the shallow section because the waves actually get pretty big over in the deep end. So you may have heard of Wild Rivers before, and when you say, Chris, how new is it? Hasn't it been around for a long time? Wild Rivers has been in Irvine for a long time, but it's been closed for like the last decade and it just reopened here in the Great Park. It is great. If you're coming, you'll want to buy your tickets online ahead of time because they charge you way more if you buy them at the gate. Like today, it was $75 at the gate for all day, but if we bought it online like three days ago, it would have been like 50 or $55. So definitely buy ahead. Parking, you'll want to buy that ahead too. They charge you $25 at the gate, $20 if you buy it online. Lockers, if you want a locker, that's gonna cost you $18. And uh, how do you buy things in the park? They are cashless, but you can register your credit card to your wristband, so then you can buy things in the park using your oh-so-cool wristband. Oh, and those prices that I mentioned, they're adult prices. The prices for toddlers that are older than two years old, but less than 48 inches tall are $40 online or $50 at the gate. It's worthwhile to know we visited here in Father's Day 2023, and they were running a special where fathers got in free. So pretty good deal. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy watching some of our other videos. You'll find links on the screen or in the description below. And as usual, we won't say goodbye because we're too full of it. So instead, we're going to see you next time.